It was absolute, absolute chaos, um, water as far as you can see. The most difficult part for the team was to decide who to initially take in the rescue and who to leave behind as there were just so many people. A decision was made at the time to save all women and children and the elderly. The parents and moms were throwing the children at rescuers. When we returned the next day to look for the adult males, and some of the uh, older boys, unfortunately, they were swept away. For the one week, approximately saved just over the 500 people. Uh, that was involving technical rescues from helicopters and uh, aquatic. The team is extremely exhausted, however, um, it was quite difficult to get them out from there as they wanted to stay. But due to their, for their own safety and that of their, their patients, they had to be demobilized um, due to fatigue. Uh, there's still a lot to be done there. Uh, relief efforts have arrived from the UN, from the Red Cross, World Health Organization. The Rescue South Africa team that is still on the ground will probably be there for a prolonged time. They will still require funding to bring in more resources and logistical support.